Thank you. Good afternoon. It's a great honor to be here today. My name is Chris Elston. I'm a father of two girls. And for the past two and a half years, I've been on a very unique journey, traveling all across North America, going to dozens of states and provinces, having conversations like a crazy person out on the street and at universities about what I consider to be the greatest child abuse scandal in the history of modern medicine. Our children are being harmed psychologically and physically because of an ideology that teaches that just because they defy sexist, regressive stereotypes, that they must have been born in the wrong body. What an abusive thing to say to a child that they were born wrong. Can you imagine telling your child they were born wrong? What does that even mean? The body positive message we should be sending is that there is no right way to be a boy or a girl. If a girl wants to climb trees and play in the dirt and throw around a football, wants to be an engineer when she grows up and hates wearing dresses, well, guess what? She's 100% a beautiful girl. We all knew this five years ago. Yet this ideology teaching that our children are trans has captured the entire Western world, yet no one can even define what it means to be trans. All it means is that they defy stereotypes. In this day and age, it means they have other mental health comorbidities which are affecting them. Half of these children who are going to these gender clinics are on the autism spectrum. We know from the Tavistock, the biggest gender clinic in the world, that out of more than 1,000 children, 35% have moderate to severe autism. These are children who have been abused in many instances. Parents are 10 times more likely to have been sex offenders. Kids in foster care are wildly overrepresented. These are our most vulnerable children who aren't fitting in, who are having a tough time, and they're being treated as though gender is the source of all their troubles. The drug that they are given has been given to pedophiles in the past to chemically castrate them. It's only been approved to treat prostate cancer in men, endometriosis and uterine fibroids in women, but we give it to kids off-label. We manipulate parents by telling them that they can have a dead daughter or a live son, as though these kids will kill themselves if we don't medically transition them. Yet there's no evidence to support this. Laura Edwards Leeper, who founded the first gender clinic in Boston, in 2007, even wrote in an op-ed in the Washington Post last year that she's not aware of any epidemic of suicide. The only evidence we do have has been done with adults. There are no studies with kids. But with adults, the evidence shows that 10 years after sex reassignment surgery, suicide rates peak and are 19.1 times higher than their peers after adjusting for other mental health comorbidities. So what are we doing to these kids? This is a pseudo-religious movement that we have to put a stop to. There is no such thing as a transgender child. They are called boys and girls, and they are beautiful just as they are. No drugs or scalpels needed. Thank you. 